Last week I had the, the pleasure of clearing the loft out and, uh, and some of the findings up there was this little treasure trove of golf balls that um, probably date back from when I first started playing the game in 1970. This is the what was known then as the British size ball, 1.62 inches. And uh, it was a wound ball. It had a sort of blatter type, rubber type cover. And inside that cover, be a rubberized elasticated winded ball and in the center of that ball there would be a wound um, it'd be a, a sort of little sack with liquid in it now the cover when you actually hit these if you was to miss hit one of these balls you could you could make a dent in the cover of the ball and that obviously when the ball flew that would make the ball deviate in flight so if you added that to a, your natural slice or hook you'd get some interesting ball flights this is a, an iconic Dunlop 65 golf ball. And it was named after um, a round played by Henry Cotton in the 1934 British Open. He shot a 65 on his way to winning the Open that year. And uh, that became probably one of the most popular balls of its day, the Dunlop 65. And it used to come in not just these, these golf ball wraps, these boxes, but it would come individually wrapped. And that used to be a, a, a natural wager for everybody on the first tee. You'd say, we'll, we'll play for the ball, play for a ball. And at the end of it, you'd end up with three of these little fellas. So that, that was very nice. In 1990, there was a big change. Um, we, we, the RNA, USPGA went to a minimum size ball. So there was a sort of coming together of a British ball and American ball. And we moved to a larger type ball. Up until that point, the Americans played on, in America with a bigger ball. When, they, when Arnold Palmer and Nicholas and all the top Americans came to play in the British Open, they would play in the British, the British size smaller ball. But in 1990, that, that all changed. Another event that made a massive change to the way we play the game in 1990 was Titleist introduced the Pro B golf ball. Now that was a solid golf ball, it had multi-core, multi-layered cores, but it was predominantly solid, and uh, so it was it was bigger. The ball came off the club face a lot faster, and consequently, a lot went the ball went a lot further. And from about that time, golf courses then started adding length. And typically at Newmarket, we've added length to a number of our, our holes um, over the years. Recently, the first green being moved and 16th green being moved back. Now, I actually tested these two balls in the lab last year, the Pro V Modern Ball and the Donald 65. And the Pro V Ball went another 30 yards further. Using my same driver, the, the Pro V Ball went 30 yards further. It also um, flew higher and it came faster off the club face. So that's why things had to change on the golf course. Well, I, I hope you've enjoyed that little history of golf ball development in, in the, the time that I've been playing. Um, for those of you that have not been playing that long, hopefully you've found out one or two um, things that have changed the course of the way we play the game today.